Welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip. A common trend in industrial design are glowing buttons and light backsplash. You can achieve this effect in Keyshot quickly and easily if you follow a few steps in your CAD software before you import it into Keyshot. In your CAD application, import the image of the icons that you plan on illuminating on the button. Using your CAD tools, trace the image. Or if you're working in NURBS, import the vector data. Use the traced image to split the surface of your button. To create the backsplash of light, make sure the geometry on the bottom of the button is open to allow the light to shine out. Once you have your icon split from your button, import the model into Keyshot. In Keyshot, assign a plastic material for the buttons and apply procedural noise texture to simulate the surfaces found in many consumer electronics. Next, set the glowing icon material to translucent and apply procedural noise texture to it. Use the exact same settings of the texture used on the button. This will create a seamless transition on the button surface with no surface breaks. After you have set your button materials, go to Edit, Add Geometry, Cube to place a cube in your scene. Scale and place the cube to rest right below the surface of the icon. and set the material type to point light diffuse. Adjust the power level to glow softly. Be aware that changing the color can also change the intensity of the light. After having it set the way you like it, repeat this process for any other glowing buttons and link the physical light materials. Once you have all your lights linked to a single physical light material, Changes to power and color can be made to all the lights on the fly. Turn down your environment brightness and add a bit of bloom to really make your glow pop. Find more quick tips at keyshot.com learning and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more Keyshot videos and tutorials.